Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Bamba card to try out today. We're taking a look at a card who is 5'9", high, high work rates, right-footed, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Uh, so by, by default, it's a card that you want to mainly use in the side positions as much as possible. So left mid area, right mid area. Um, I do feel like it is preferable to use them in that right-sided position because I like strong foot on the strong side personally, but it really depends on the play style that you're going for because some people like to have uh, their players in the side areas to actually cut inside. So it just depends on the person, right? Uh, In-game player traits, he has outside foot shot trait, which is always nice to have, as well as the flare traits and solid player traits. In-game attributes, his base card stats for pace is already set up nicely. 97, 97 is pretty good for the meta of the game because most fullbacks have very close to 99. So he'll be able to kind of match up against them, which is awesome. He's going to be working with 97 for stamina on the high, high work rate, which is also very good too. 93 for attacking positioning with the high, high work rates, considering the fact that with the marksman chemistry style, we are going to be boosting the main dribbling stats for reactions, ball control and dribbling, while also giving him the shooting boost that he requires. Now he does have 80 volleys, which could be inconsistent from time to time, but if he isn't in a more open area, it shouldn't be too bad to work with. Uh, for passing, the card is actually set up nicely as well, so no huge problems there. Again, with the fact that this card could be upgraded in the future, uh, there's definitely a few things that could definitely be very nice in the card, especially with the uh, base card stats or pace being improved. Even if it's a plus one, it could definitely make a very nice difference on the card. Uh, dribbling, we will be experimenting with because he is a 5 foot 9 player with an average body type. So average body type by default, it's a card that I want to mainly use in the side positions, right? Like even Coutinho's card, you feel that average body type because of the composure being in the low 80s area because... Let's just say, for instance, nowadays, right, you're mostly going to be coming up against players who have, you know, a flashback Varon with a 93 composure, right? And he's a big dude. So when you're coming up against these types of guys, uh, having as much composure as possible, if you want to do those small dribbles, is always super, super nice to have. But regardless for the meta of the game, Bamba is set up really nicely uh, for the main stats that he needs. Uh, setting for heading accuracy, not really a card I want to head the ball too much with, but he is going to have 86 for strength. Uh, at a 98 for jumping so some pretty decent stuff here and there but with Bamba's card guys we are going to be using him mainly in the side positions uh, for the sake of the review I might actually rotate him into the middle positions as well because I could just put Jelson off to the side areas uh, but yeah we'll be using Jonathan Bamba as a left mid train changing him as the game goes on and um, we'll see how he performs the only instruction I have on him to work with that high high work rate is the comeback and defense instruction so yeah we'll see how he plays in game hopefully he's a beast Oh, so when you get into those positions, you do want to make the extra pass. But again, for the review, I just want to take the strike to see how he shoots the ball from that area. Mm, so we go for the near post there and we don't score. But the run was fantastic. The fact that he has really high base card stats for pace is uh, super noticeable for areas like that. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Those angles are not, like, uh, crazy to score from. It's really low. See, that's what I mean about the whole Varane situation, you know? When you dribble uh, on him, like, if you're doing, like, aggressive stuff, you're going to notice that stuff for sure. Nice. There we go, Bamba. Good finish. Good finish. He times his run really well there, too. That's actually good. Oh, man. I should have I should have gone on the outside. When, when I see the AI doing that, like, I know I'm not going to. Oh, good reach. Nice.
Oh, what a tackle, jeez. Oh, that would have been nice if he got that. Oh. Was that Bamba defensively? Nice. Oh, the run was fantastic. I just couldn't get that flick off properly. Oh, the timing on that. That's crazy. <laughs> the timing on that's nuts. Oh, we get the chip off too. Nice. I, he might he might leave from that one. Right? Yeah. I mean, regardless of me not getting the ball there, that high defensive work rate from Bamba, super helpful there. Dude, this slow gameplay is going to drive me nuts, man. Let's go, Bamba. Okay, my boy. That was, you know what? That was a good combination play. Wasn't too bad. Dribbles were good under pressure. I'm using him up top in the striker position to kind of get more shots with him and stuff. Yeah, I wanted to try a strike from up close. Oh my goodness, I actually thought I almost scored that. <laughs> uh, I will say, guys, that this Bamba card is significantly better than the the uh, previous version. I think it was like a rule break or something. Like the rule breaker is like, for me, it kind of felt like it's a card that does its job well. Um, but this card just feels significantly better, in my opinion. Oh, unlucky. I actually got him on the dummy there, too. If the pass was weighted a different way. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Small little build up gets into the right positions at the right time. Scores the opportunity for us. I love that. I don't score that. Oh, no way, man. Oh, I took a bad touch there. I have to go for like a ball roll or something to get on the inside there. Yeah, when they don't put pressure against you guys, at some point he's just going to push the goalkeeper against you. Just use the left stick to get past him. Offside. Unlucky. Would have been nice. Would have been nice. I thought he was going to be like slightly on there at least. Let's go, Bamba. Well done, well done. That base pace, man, is uh it, it's it's fantastic, bro. For the meta of this game, my goodness. Hey, he stopped playing, but I was like, you know what? Let's just try the shot anyways. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Bamba card. So, guys, this is why it's so important that FIFA cards are formatted a certain way. For them to perform as best as possible for this game right so this is 
almost like a Jelson Martin situation, right? So the thing with Jelson Martins is the fact that he has really high base card stats for pace, really high base card stats for stamina. So using cards like this in the left mid position, right mid position, it works out really well, right? And I feel like it's a very similar situation to Bamba now because the card is formatted in a way with the stats where I feel like the Marksman Camera style is the obvious choice here. And the reason why this is so good is because you boost dribbling, you boost the shooting as much as possible, you put in a very good area, actually. Uh, you give him phenomenal physical stats, right, to work with 97 stamina at a high, high work rate. And he already, and here's the kicker, he already has the base card stats for pace, right? 97, 97 for both with the high, high work rates, four star, four star capabilities. For me personally, this card is significantly better because I remember trying out this card and I'm gonna be honest with you, the biggest reason to use him at the time was genuinely because of the links that you had to work with. But again, you know, you give this card the marksman chemistry style, he's lacking in certain areas of the card, the base card stats are very noticeable, the pace for the meta of the game is low because guys, when you use side players, right? The fullbacks that exist nowadays, they usually have close to 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. So you need players that are equal to that pace. And a lot of the times you want to do through balls into the side positions and you need that pace to be able to do it, especially if your attacker has that momentum first. So that's why this card was a problem at the time and it wasn't that crazy. But now that this card has the right base card stats for certain areas of it, I think that he is very, very solid. I think he plays that role as a left mid, right mid really well, because for me personally, you guys know, I love to use players that are high, high work rated in the side positions because it just creates a really good bounce in your team. If I play a 3-4-1-2 formation and I'm using this card in my right mid position with that high, high work rate, that's the perfect area to use them. But as you guys seen, I was using the card in the striker position on my main account and he was still doing work for me. He was moving across the pitch well. He was adapting to what was happening on the pitch quickly. Like the attacking AI is perfectly fine. So uh, yeah, for me personally, for the time period of the game, because we have the time period now and then there was a time period at the time. For the time period of the game right now, I think that this card is significantly better than what this card offered during that time period, right? And not only does he give you the links, but it's just a solid card, you know? It's a four-star, four-star player. I wish they did like stuff where they actually give him like five-star skills, five-star weak foot, whatever. But yeah, very, very solid. It gives you great links. The price is not bad at all, in my opinion. Uh, this this one I enjoyed using way more than the Rule Breakers one at the time, for sure. And then obviously, you know, playing in the French League, uh, this stuff is not as relevant, obviously. Uh, it's more like the strong links with uh, the other players, mostly the French guys, uh, the players from League One. You know, the fact that he plays in the left mid position, there's so many easy things to work with, right? You can put Mbappe in the team. Uh, if you have a Kakaret, that's a cheap option. You can go with that. Um, most of it is like icon stuff. Uh, I wouldn't really choose many of these guys here. You could do Ben Yedder. Um, you could do the Klaus card because I uh, actually know you can't do Klaus because Klaus is a right sided player. Um, Awar is another option too. I mean, there's a, there's a lot, right? And then the fact that he's from Lille, he gets that link to Ronaldo Sanchez. So there's a ton of stuff to work with when it comes to a card like this that actually performs well in the game, in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.